Hi guys, uh, this is Mr. Gupta. I'm presenting my first video which is based on sequences and which is really important topic for GCSC mathematics. So today uh, we are going to learn finding the rule and in sequences we are going to see what is happening when you are going from first term to second term and second learning objective is finding the nth term of the sequences and third one is this particular term is part of sequences or not so we'll see this one by one so let's go for our question one which is 3 5 7 9 and 11 if you see you jump from 3 to 5 so you can see there's a plus 2 if you jump from 5 to 7 again it is plus 2 and 7 to 9 plus 2 so our rule says plus 2 okay now second thing if they say what will be the 100th term or what will be the 250th term then it is quite difficult to calculate so let's develop a formula I'm going to explain you two methods here so first method is if you see here first method so what you need to do write on the first term first term plus n minus 1 times difference difference so our first term is 3 so let's write down here 3 plus n minus 1 times d and d is here difference that is 2 so 2 is coming from the top here so this 2 is coming here so if you multiply by 2 inside so it will be 3 plus 2n minus 2 so 3 minus 2 becomes plus 1 and this 2n so that is your nth term 2n plus 1 now if you want to see second method which is quite easy so our second method is here so I can explain you second method that is one of the easiest method so you write down the first term 3 okay and second term is 5 and 7 and 9 so difference is 2 so difference will be multiplied by letter n and then you see what is the difference between 3 and 2 so from 3 and 2 it is plus 1 that is 3 take away 2 that is plus 1 so we can write down 2n plus 1 so how easy it is so you have two method you can pick up any method and uh, if in the exam they say find the 20th term so 20th term you just need to do 2 times n is replaced by 20 2 times 20 plus 1 so it will be 40 plus 1 that is 41 that's it so this is what we need to do I can explain you one more question so if you see here 8 15 22 29 and 36 so what you need to do let's see what the rule says rule says it is plus 7 15 plus 22 it is plus 7 22 to 29 it is plus 7 and so on so we can apply what will be the nth term so rule is plus 7 the rule is plus 7 now what will be the nth term here so let's apply first method first method so first method is you write down the first term 
that is 8 plus n minus 1 and difference is 7 so this 7 is coming here times by 7 so it will be 8 plus 7n minus 7 so answer will be 7n and 8 take away 7 is plus 1 that's your answer 7n plus 1 now if you don't want to use this method you can use this method as well second method so for second method what you need to do nice and easy you write down 7 and times by n that is 7n and difference of 8 and 7 so difference of 8 and 7 so 8 take away 7 is I can write down here so 8 take away 7 is 1 that is plus 1 so we are going to write 7 and plus 1 so that's your answer if they say what will be 25th term or what will be 20th term let's say 20th term here so t term 20 will be given by 7 times 20 and plus 1 so 7 times 20 that is 140 and plus 1 so it will be 141 nice and easy I can explain you one last example so it will give you clear cut picture so if you see here here if you are moving from 9 to 6 then it is minus 3 if you are going 6 to 3 that is minus 3 3 to 0 that is minus 3 and so on so again here we can use two methods so first method is So first method is you write down the first term that is minus 3 plus n minus 1 and difference is minus 3. Sorry, first term is 9. So we need to replace it with 9. Okay. So it is 9. First term is 9 plus n minus 1 and times by minus 3. So once you times by minus 3, so it will be minus 3n and plus 3. So our answer is minus 3n and 9 plus 3 is 12. So this is our first answer minus 3n plus 12. Now second method if you are not happy with this you can apply second method. So you can write down second method. So second method is whatever difference is you times by n okay now as I told you now you need to take difference of these two so be careful difference of these two so our two numbers are 9 and minus 3 so their difference will be like this so 9 minus and minus once you times so it will be 3 and 9 plus 3 is 12 so that is plus 12 so we are going to write down here plus 12 okay so in this case if you have to calculate 20th term t20 so just simply multiply minus 3 times 20 and plus 12 so minus 3 times 20 is minus 60 and plus 12 and minus 60 and plus 12 is minus and it is 48 minus 48 so this is the way you can calculate nth term of the sequence and some particular term of the sequence now if we move on here's a practice question you can pause the video and have a go and see how you can do it
So I hope you must have tried. You can check your working against my working. So here. So first rule is if you see from 3 to 7 it is plus 4 plus 4. 7 to 11 it is plus 4. So our rule is you can write down plus 4. Now they are asking you B part. So A part we have done. Now B part next two terms. So 19 plus 4 if you add plus 4 so it will be 23. Then 23 plus 4 is 27. So next two terms will be 23 and 27. Now what will be the nth term? So as I told you you can apply any method. So here difference is plus 4. So I can apply this method. So mm, let's apply. So I'm applying second method as difference is plus 4. So difference is plus 4. So we can multiply 4 times n. Now difference of 3 and minus 4. So 3 take away 4 that is minus 1. So our nth term will be 4n minus 1. So this is our nth term 4n minus 1. Okay. Now this is our nth term. Now if they are asking you 10th term of the sequence. So just simply replace n with 10. So 10 times 4 that is 4 times 10 minus 1 that is 40. 40 minus 1 is 39. Now very important question E part is 65 is a term of this sequence. So what we need to do. So just have a look what we need to do. So if we can create little space here. So is 65 as a part of the sequence or not. So that we are going to work it out. So our nth term is 4n minus 1 that is e part working 4n minus 1. Let's see whether it is equal to 65 or not and we'll find out the value of n. So in another words you need to make n as a subject. So let's do plus 1 plus 1 both sides. So we are left with 4m and that is 66. Now here we want n. So our troubling number is 4. So let's divide by 4 here and divide by 4 here. So we got we got n is 66 over 4. If you do half of 66 that is 33 over 2 and 33 over 2 if you do half of this so it will be 16.5 so 16.5 sorry so it is not a whole number it is not a whole number not a not a whole number not a whole number so it is not part of sequence so not a whole number so it is not part of sequence it is not a part of sequence and that's it i hope you must have liked this video and uh, in next video we are going to discuss about the quadratic sequences till then Goodbye. Thank you.